All right, everybody. Thanks for coming back. Now we're going to go on to uh, looking at our form and adding uh, user actions to our form. Now, just as a preface to this, uh, Access is a rapid application development, RAD, development tool. So that means you can develop your applications really, really quickly and uh, easily. Okay, uh, compared to other other applications. So you're going to find out that you're going to be able to design design your applications very, very quickly by using this, by using Access. So uh, we're going to go through some of that right now. Now we're going to create a form using our our book our book database. Uh, using our book database concept, we're going to design forms around it. Now this is a book bookstore, and it's a popular bookstore. This this particular bookstore. That's kind of the the background of this. The store sells books on a wide range of topics, such as computers, cooking, and psychology. In large publishing houses, several uh, several of their kinds, several items of this of this category currently stock these books okay now the database currently stores books and publisher information but until now the the database has it hasn't supply it hasn't provided the the need the the needs of the organization and so we want to go ahead and Add on to it. Okay, we're taking a existing database and then making a making changes, necessary changes to make it make it more suitable to what they what the company needs. So we want to go ahead and add that. That's why they have this access database, but they they wanted to hire somebody. This kind of the background of it. They want to hire somebody to kind of add on to this and to make it uh, more user friendly and more bene benefit the company easier so we're gonna go ahead and look okay as you can see here's the background of this if you did fast forward you saw the the process of creating this uh, structure now we're gonna create a uh, credit form okay so create and then we're gonna go over here to uh, to form Create form, uh, blank form. Let's say blank form. <clears throat> and uh, what is we actually want to just create a um, just create a, a just a blank form because we're gonna add uh, we're gonna add two buttons, a drop down box, uh, and three command buttons. Okay, so form design. So we want to create something like this, and uh, from here we're going ahead and cl and choosing a label. Okay, want to just put a label in here and call it. Actually, we're not going to do that. We're just going to have a frame instead. Okay, just have a frame, and I don't want to use the this wizard. Okay. Don't want to use a wizard. So I'm going to deselect the the wizard button. I don't want to use the control wizard on this. Now I want three buttons. So I double click on the buttons. And one, two, three, and then I press escape to get it off me. And I'm gonna I need a couple option buttons. So I have one option button here. Want uh, I need to double click it, and then I, you see how you see how this is uh, highlighted. That means that my option button is going to get a value from this frame. <clears throat> so that's what I, I wanted to do. And all that we're doing really, really close care about where I'm like aligning this, but. Uh, because I'll do that later on. And then I drop down box. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and save it. Save it. I'm going to call it. Let's say. FRM. 
customer customer labels labels okay if I look at the form uh, the way you find it after it's uh, it's somewhere around God, I don't want this form because so I'm missing. I, I don't want it there. And uh, I think I'd see I'd, I'd see the changes. So anyway, I uh, find it after find it in 2007 or above. Uh, I click on drop down, and uh, we're going to look for all objects and forms. And then I have FRM customer labels here. It's going to be just a blank form. It's going to be kind of weird looking. It's not going to do anything. Just so it's not a plan. So we want to soup it up a bit. First of all, I'm going to go into your and do design view. And I'll, okay, I'm going to do this kind of quick. But uh, you can look at my other v uh, videos about doing some doing these things at a slower pace. So CMD preview. CMD preview. And then I'm going to have a caption. Uh, I don't want this. I want this being my name. Sorry. Name. CMD preview. Caption is going to be preview. Preview. And this caption is going to be this one is going to be print you may have seen this <clears throat> whenever they click the press the control P well in order to put that there you put a put an ampersand in front of it in front of the letter okay and then you get that underscore if you don't put the ampersand it won't give you that alternate so put the ampersand there Kind of a bonus there. All right. So people are used to it. If people know about it, they'll do alternate P. Then CMD print is my name. And then the, this one is going to be cancel. CMD cancel. And then I cancel my cancel button. Alrighty. Now I do I do want to be able to click uh, escape and the. Uh, oh my bad. Sorry. Wrong place. I do it too fast. Cancel. Cancel. You may hear this racket going in the background. That's my little girl. She keeps giving me stuff. So uh, please excuse that. That that's, that's the reason why you probably hear something in the background. Okay. I do you want this to be a uh, a cancel button so I'm gonna select yes notice under the other tab you have cancel and that means if I press the ESC key it'll close the format okay because that's the cancel button I'm gonna save it okay and here my frame is gonna be called uh, customer labels so, my label. Customer. Customer labels. And then, uh, we have all countries here. All countries. And then we have here 
going to be a specific specific country okay now to line line both these up on the left side I'm going to say okay well then I'm going to select this one hold down my shift key and select this one I'll go up here to arrange and arrange on align to the left and then I'm going to select these two and arrange to left. Okay. Now I want one of the, note, notice the value. Okay. It's under the data tab. If you click on this, uh, one, the val, option value is 1 and the option value is 2. That's because they are part of the frame here. Okay. Otherwise you have to assign them your own value. So um, first, I'm gonna call the frame something oh, FRA, and then I'm gonna call it customer labels. Labels. FRA. Sorry. FRA customer labels. Okay. One of these buttons is gonna be the selected one, so I'm gonna say all countries is gonna be the first one. So the selected option up here is going to be the default value for the frame, frame, keyword frame, is going to be 1. So that means that if I select, uh, I don't want that because this not giving me anything. I want a form view. Did it accept it or what? Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened, man. Default value. Sorry about the clicking. That Shrek movie. Click, click, click. Can you find something good, useful to do? Never mind. Oh man, let's close it out. I'll close it out. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now I close it out and I get this specific country. No, I get the default value shows up. So I have my default value. Now I'm going to go into the side view again. And I'm going to... Let's see... Oh yeah, I want to I want to make sure these buttons are are lined up. You know what? I'm going to say I want to line these up to the left, and I want to have spacing equal between them, so that they have equal spacing. I decrease vertical spacing. Uh -huh. That also makes it makes it equal. So, and then I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, because I don't need that big. And then I'm going to make it this one a little bit. We're not going to do much with this one yet, but I'll show you. But we are going to disable it, okay? Just to make it kind of, it's going to be called... Uh, well, we're going to give it a name a little bit later on, but right now, I'm going to have a data and then enable. It's going, we're going to set it later on because we don't want to keep, make the option for the user yet, but we want to we want to say a specific country. When they click on specific country, we're going to make this box enable it. So we are going to give it a name, okay? CBO uh, country, and then, but we're going to disable it for right now until they make a country selection, okay? And let's see. We want to go ahead and put this center. Move it up a bit. 
just do a select all controls by you can drag it drag over all controls and drag upwards. Yeah. All right. Now it looks kind of good. Great. Well, there you have it. And uh, come on back. Look, we're going to go ahead and program this.